Going back to that, I'll obey. Sukkah she ain't no shalish daphnis psulo. A sukkah that doesn't have three walls is possible. Hoyalish te daphnis gemuris. And then we'll go into that. First, first we're going to go down to the Pirush. Sukkah she ain't no shalish daphnis psulo. The Maga Mishnah cites the Mishnah in sukkah base at the very beginning. If it doesn't have three walls, it's possible. The Brisa in Vov 6b says, Tanangabon. Two have to be. Real walls, and the third is even a tefach. Rav Shimon says three walls have to be complete walls, and the fourth is a tefach. The halacha is like a halachomim, that you need two walls, and the third is a tefach. And therefore, each wall is seven tefachim wide and ten tefachim high, as we'll see. And the uh, Amoroyim disagree as to whether this third wall stands. Does it stand next to one of the two wall, existing walls, or does it stand in the corner to designate the furthest point? Now, the Ramam continues. If it had two full walls, like we had, like an L, we would call it today. It's a really Greek letter that looks like a resh or an L. That you do one corner lengthwise and one corner widthwise, and they connect at the corner. And this is ta- these are the two that are halacha. The third one, so the third wall has to be a little bit more than a tefach. And according to the Rambam, you place it less than three tefachim from one of the two existing walls. It's ten tefachim high. And once it's within three tvochim of the four of one of the two walls, so it's considered lovud, and meaning it's connected, and we have as if we have three walls. So last is law, you have to make that tefach, it has to have on top of it a connector also to the wall, and they shall shlois davnois gimuis. Because it does not have three complete walls. He's only f- completing with one tefach. Now the Raman continues. We learned in all Shabbos. That when we say we need a doorway, that it's something that looks like a doorway. Meaning, as long as you have uh, two sticks on the side and overhead is a, there's something directly above it, even though it doesn't touch those two sticks, it's called the Tzuras HaPesach. Now the Magid Mishnah cites the Amoroim and Sukkah 7a disagree. Where do you put this Tefach? According to Rav Simen and Rabbi Yeshua Malevi, you make it Shoichek. That means it has to be a bit more than a tefach, and you place it within three tefachim of the existing wall, as we just mentioned above. And anything that's less than three tefachim is like it's attached, because two things which are close to each other, and there's no, not a, there's no three tefachim between them, is considered a closed area. So we have three walls, and because the third wall is actually four tefachim long, three, three tefachim plus one. The Magad Mishnah cites the Gemara in Sukkah 7b. The Lishna Kamo, Rabbi says, only you need a Tzuras HaPesach. You have to do the Tefach, Kip Tzuras HaPesach. Like Rashi says, you take a Kono of a half a Tefach, and you place it on the side of this wall, another half a Tefach distant from it, and Kono Al Gabeim, and a... Uh, stick above them, and it's called like a third wall. Therefore, that the tefach shoichek, meaning that according to Rashi, it would seem that this tefach that we need, we divide in two, half and half, one half a tefach here, one half a tefach there. There are others who say it's also niteres betsuras pesach that you can do a tefach without betsuras pesach Nami betsuras pesach. In other words, they read it as either one beam of ten uh, tefach wide, ten tefach, ten tefach high, or half and half with an overhead thing. Yeah, those two options. But it, but according to the Lishna Basra, Rav says you also need a pesach. That 
you need to have in between them this Tzuras HaPesach to make it uh, and it has to be less than three Tzvochim from the Mechitza until the Kono Shevekotze meaning that what? you have a, a, in the corner a, a thin reed less than a Tevach and in the, another corner you have another one so actually you have nearly seven Tzvochim because you have an empty space of three Tzvochim which is like it's connected and then a Tzuras HaPesach which gives you another area which is a whole wall so you have three uh, you have four tvochim and three tvochim you have seven tvochim in total we'll turn the page the Gemara cites that Avashi met of Kahano that he did a tevach a thick tevach in addition to the Tzuras HaPesach and he said why do you have to do both and he said you also need a Tzuras HaPesach the Amam is of the opinion Kilishna Basra, and therefore it would seem that the Suza Pesach has to be have after it a, a thick beam more than a tefach. At the end of that sukkah, in its corner, he puts another corner. So, in, in other words, what do you have first? actually you have one beam which is a tefach and then after that beam which is within three tefachim of the wall you have a tzuras pesach but not that you divide up the half and half Abayna Manoyach brings from the Babli and Yerushalmi you know, what the Pesach says was sukkatiyel tzel yoimam and the sukkah shall be for them as a sh- shade by day mechorev from the heat so hare it says Achas lamalo, that's sukkah, aschach. Ule machze, which ule mister, will be will be tzeil, that's aschach. And then you go to machze, and for a place to to hide oneself and and inhabit, to be enclosed in and to be hidden. So you have two more walls, umizerem umimoto, and then it adds two more words, which has to do from winds and from uh, rain so the Achamim say another one Lav Shimon means another two that's the way Rabbi Manoach explains it from the post you see the question is whether it's enough one beam or you need to have another two Kimin Gam Rabbi Manoach explains that the, the the third letter of Greek, the G, is like the looks like the Dalad of, our, of ours. Well, they said it's like a gam, and not like a Dalad, because they did not want to make similar the div, uh, oasis that are holy to those that are secular, like Greek language. In fact, there are those who don't like to use numbers because of that. And this is a Kedushas Atura Koido. That they didn't want to use with something which is secular when in the olive bays, which is Kulay Kurdish, because we know the olive bays themselves were all Kurdish. Raman says, They make a, a, a beam which has in its width more than a tefach. Rabbeinu Moyer explains, like the Magad Mishnah, that we're talking about one tefach, and it's called Shrechik. Because sharing means usually you open your mouth, it's, it's spread. And he brings from Pirish HaAloha Sheteva Shechek is just a half a etzba more than four uh, thumbs. Where does he place this? Rahman says he places it in less than three tvochim next to one of the two existing walls, and that's enough. Rabbeinu Manoyach explains, like the Magad Mishnah. In the Gemara Sukkah 7a, that he places it within three Tvochim, it's like it's part of the wall, and you have a wall of another wall of four Tvochim. And he explains further that a Sukkah Tana has to be at least seven Tvochim. And now, when he places this one there, which is it's a bit more than a, a Tefach, less than three Tvochim from the wall, so it's like we have four Tvochim and a little bit. And therefore, you place it in the middle. 
less than three tvochim to this corner, and with the tevach from this corner, and and you have lovud the other side, so you have and as if you had three tvochim after the tevach. So it seems is including the opposite corner, as if it would have it would be an existing thing. And it's called Lovid to the second side, as if we have another three Tvochim. So you have four, you have three empty, one full, and three empty. And so Rashi and Roy Vigoynim say, and there are those say that only when there is something standing at the other end, you can say Lovid the Shtei Ruchais. You can do it in both directions. The Tevach Shechik, that he puts less than three Tvochim from one, from one side, that's it should look like a real wall, and not it should be considered for seven tvochim. Because when one side, the other side is open, it's true that it, it, technically you can say, well, that's where the point, where the end of the sukkah is. But there's nothing there to consider it love it too. The shulchanor paskins the avnois a sukkah. If they're two next to each other like an L, you make a third wall that has a, a, a piece of wood that's more than a tefach, and you place it within three tefachim of one of these two L, of the L, and you have to do it through a pesach also. Because as he says, because otherwise you don't see the seven tefachim. The taz, that he puts it, is a, 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 innovates that he adds within three tefachim of the wall, and that's four tefachim, it's a mechitza. Now, since we have a ma- the, what we need is seven tvochim, so you have four out of seven, and that's how he explains the discrepancy that we don't have seven. The prima godim cites that this is what we find in Rashi and Tosis. The Ran adds that even though it's enough three tvochim and a half, because that's the majority, why do you need four tvochim? Four? Why does it have to be three tvochim away plus another tefach? But we ne- nothing that we never find a shear of less than ten tvo- four tvochem as being a, a considered a respected uh, wall. In Menat you need a tefach sheichik, but Tzuras Apesach is a din derabbonim, and the halacha, the bir halacha brings down the prima godim. This has to do with the sukkah that its entire length is seven tvochem and wide seven tvochem. Rabbeinu Menuach adds that even if it's more than ten seven tvochim, the third wall of a tevach helps because even let's say two walls are ten tvochim. Now you only have four tvochim, and a little bit, so you're less than half. So why? How does it help? We just said the reason of the four tvochim was because it's a majority of seven. Because he says once you have a majority of seven tvochim, it's enough. But according to the the type of uh, according to the res, the explanation that it's also connected to the other side, you can't say lovud when you have ten tvochim long and you're only four away from the wall. There's six tvochim left, and there's more than three tvochim in six tvochim. La loch, the Mishnah Bura cites in the name of the Mogen Avron. When its length is seven tvochim by seven tvochim, he makes a tefach and he puts it less than three tvochim away from the L. It's called lovut. It's as if we have four tvochim and we have a wall. Now, to get the seven tvochim, he should make it so as a pesach. So you can take even a reed, one reed on one side, and uh, you should take it distant from that fourth, from, from that that one tefach uh, piece. And place it where he wants to, and put it on top of it uh, a tzuras pesach. The Sharad Tzion adds that Levush Yisroh explains differently the kavona of the Mogan Avram, that you have four tvochim. That if the doifim, if the complete wall is more than Zion tvochim, you don't have to come to tzuras pesach until the end of the wall exactly, until a Zion tvochim. He says, you're right. One wall is ten tvochim, the other one is ten tvochim. Technically, this wall is only four tvochim. It's less than the majority. But as long as it's a majority of seven, it's enough. 
And the Levush wrote that he has to put the corner till the end of this, the other, the opposite wall to make it a square, to make everything kosher. Otherwise, what he will have is something which is kosher at an angle from the end of the four at an angle to the corner. That's what he can use, but he cannot use the whole area. And you, that's for sure they can do that. Because if, if, if we only leave it where it is, it'll only be kosher at Zion Tzvachim on one side, and the other side will be Ten Tzvachim, and the, and the Sukkot will have sort of like an, an offside uh, wall. But the Sha'atzin asks a question that Lavush himself says, if he did two mechitzes which are long, many amas, and the third one he did Zion Tzvachim, he can still sit within the Sukkot as if it was a square of Ten Amas by Ten Amas. That should be the din, if we say Lovut and Tzuros Pesach, because it's considered like Abi Shamis a Rishus Hayochid, if he made the Tzuros Pesach, And so we find, because La Loche and Shabbos, anything that has three walls is a Rishus Hayochid. And so the B'ar Gro would seem to say, the Gro, therefore, it will help even if it's longer than Zayin Tvochem. That's what the people go them in the Eish Lavron disagrees with him on the words of the Lavush. The Agos Maimonis says that if the Konim reach the Schach, it's called the Tzuros Pesach. In other words, if, the, if instead of making another beam across, you use the Schach as your cross beam on top, it has to touch, if, if that one in the corner touches the top one, huh? You don't have to put an additional cross beam, because the sarach is considered like I'm being on top of them. Because we say good ochas, we say that it's as if the end of the sarach came down. And so the Ramos says, the Mishnah Bura, says that the Mogan Avram asks from the Yushalmi, and is of the opinion that one should be machma, because the sarach was not made for this purpose. And it can't be a kona al gabayim. But the Achreinim uh, answers argument, and they brief him to be Kura Yaakov, that he relies on the Aramo, and if somebody relies on the Aramo, he doesn't lose, and therefore the Tzuras HaPesach can just be one stick at the end, even if you have just four Tvachim at one end, and then it goes up to the Schach, and then at the end you have another one 15 feet away, it will still be considered a Tzuras HaPesach.